Gentlemen, on January 3rd, 2009, at 0800 hours, NASA intercepted a transmission from a planet several light years outside of our galaxy. And this message was sent to us by a malevolent race of aliens known as the Dominionites, who stated very clearly that unless we can prove that we're worth sparing, the planet Earth will be destroyed. <gasps> so what does that have to do with us? Well, everybody likes jokes. That's why we assembled you, a crack team of comedians, to rocket through space, land on the Dominionite homeworld, and perform a show so good, so funny, that they may just spare us. Uh, wait, wait, wait a second. We're supposed to, we're supposed to sway them with fucking jokes? Hey, we're gonna go, we're gonna be going by some Uranus? Come on! <laughs> yes. oh, that's where I get off. Yeah, that's, yeah. Look at Mr. Funny Man, here to make us all laugh. You think you're here to tell jokes, Kyle Kinane? You think you're some kind of goddamn comedian? Well, he is. We all are. We're all comedians, remember? You, you hired us to do comedy. Yeah, that's why we're here. Right, well, you save it for the mission. So, why'd you pick us? Because you're the best of the best. The funniest of the funny. Why not, like, uh, Dave Attell or uh, Dave Chappelle or Dave Luttrell. It's a guy I saw in Kenosha. He does this thing with, like, mouse traps on his tits. He's got tits. That's part of the act. Mo Gaffney. That fan. Louis C.K. Paula of Poundstone, too. Paula Poundstone. Uh, and Zealed and Yarnell. They're mimes, but they're hilarious. Eliza Schlesinger. The five surviving members of Monty Python? There's another guy, Blind Comic. Uh, his name's like Sites or something. I mean, it's an ironic name he's got. I mean, he's good, and it's like, hey, you guys see this? And that's the joke. Hey, you guys seen this new Angry Whopper? But you couldn't see it. Oh! <laughs> ah! Dead. No! Someone's like, Can someone give me a shoe with just bread around it, you know? It's... How about uh, Mr. Bean? He's pretty good because, you know, he, did, he doesn't even have to speak. Dane Cook? Dane Cook? Who's Dane Cook in our nation's darkest hour? Are you out of your fucking mind, son? Dane Cook is a national treasure. It would be mass hysteria without him. We need Dane Cook here to keep the public calm. Lord knows without him, those poor bastards would tear each other apart. You've got impeccable teeth. Thank you. Now, we don't even know if the Dominionites speak English, but the U.S. government spent hours coming up with this plan. And we think it's pretty good. The fate of the world's in your hands, boys. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I'd miss you, babe. And I don't want to miss a thing. Aunt, mm. we're both going to space. I know. Oh. I'll always remember you. I'll never forget. I'll think about you every day. I'll never forget, never. <laughs> Hi. Do I know you? I met you at the mall once. Okay. I, I, I have to go to space now. Okay. N nice meeting you. I'll wait for you. Okay, see ya. I love you, Eric Charles Nielsen. Thanks. I love you. Ah! Now the flight will be difficult. Mainly because none of you are astronauts. None of you have any experience piloting a space shuttle. But the U.S. government believes you can do it. When we believe in you, you believe in you. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Do I look like I'm Ken Dwayne Perkins? You will rocket through space, and you will save the planet with your hilarious jokes, backdoor shenanigans, and crazy make em ups. You are no longer comedians. You are now. Space Comics! Show me that smile, Lou. Cabin's log, start eight. I don't know. What is it? Thursday. We've been traveling on this hunk of metal now with this ragtag crew for five years now. It's been five years. My God, it feels like only yesterday that we uh, 
What? You're not the fucking captain, all right? If anybody's going to be the captain, I'm going to be the captain. Wait, wait, why can't I be the captain? Look how cute I am. Yeah, because you drove this thing in the wrong direction for two years. The pedal was stuck. I think this thing's broken. Why do you think it's broken? Well, I used to be on the wall, and, and now it's... Jesus, Eric! It's not. I'm sorry. You know what I don't get? We, we, we've we been on the shuttle five years, and we all look the same. We haven't aged a bit. That's because uh, time travels backwards in space. Is that true? I, 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 I don't know. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. So Glickman, let me ask you a question. If you and me, you and me, you know, are stranded on some planet, uh, and these nincompoops are not with us, how would you let me, you know, maybe go down and no. have a little... You didn't even let me finish my sentence. No. But you don't even know what I'm going to say. No. Maybe go, just let me lick the tip. Just no. the tip. I would. All night long. Have some music all night long. But unk a thunk thunk. You're gay? Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who? You know what's crazy is that we've been flying this space shuttle through space and none of us know how to fly a space shuttle. Know, it's amazing. I know. I know how to fly a space shuttle. That's my training in this. cousin been, knows William Shatner. We've been so lucky. Oh, we've been I, so I, I, no, I, I was at space camp for seven years. I, I know how to fly this. Thing. Somebody would have gone to space camp for six and a half years. <laughs> I, know, I don't even know what this one does. I'm like, this is my thing. Before, like, I have formal training in this. We're learning. We're learning. You know, like, we just have to make it up on our own. I spent my whole life preparing for this mission. Oh God, I haven't written a new joke in five years. Probably gonna just do the usual and then throw in some space material. I was thinking about that, but should we cater to them? Should we tell jokes about their planet? I mean. Hey, you know what? If they don't get my jokes, fuck them. How about that? Listen here, Kyle. That kind of attitude may work on Earth. This is outer space. All right? This is a whole nother ball game. We gotta knock this one out of the park. Earth is depending on- Oh, oh. we've got transmission! Oh my yeah. god! Open hailing frequency! Computer, on screen! <laughs> I am the Zaldagon Ghost, leader of the Dominionites. How's the trip going? Uh, it's... it's good. Wonderful! Can't wait to see you. The show is gonna be so great, everyone is so excited. Great. Sorry it's taking us so long to get there. Oh, please. Don't rush. Relax. Enjoy space. Yeah, here we'll have fun. We'll eat. Take it easy. Are you trying to destroy our planet? What? No. We just wanted you guys to come here. Trying to ask nicely, but those oiflings never listen unless you really don't tip them into it. Well, we can't wait to get there and give you guys a great show. Well, thank you, Lance. I can't wait to see all of you. And if the show goes as well as I think it will, I can get you booked in shows in other parts of the galaxy. Oh, that, that, that'd be great. That, that, thank you, miss. Thank you, Eric Charles Nielsen. Over. Out. We've traveled across this universe to do stand-up. And as the universe expands, so shall we.